Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Autos HQ. Guys, it's been a while. It's been a couple of days now since I've um, uploaded a video. I've been super, super busy at home. Uh, we are in the middle of a move, moving house. So yeah, got a lot going on. Um, unfortunately, I'm not be able to push out as many videos as I would like to. But <clears throat> yeah, Home stuff, family stuff, and all that good stuff had to come first. So yeah, but it is Monday morning. We're back in the workshop today, and we're continuing with this Ford Fiesta Titanium, apparently Cat S. Uh, we've already worked out that it's not a Cat S. It can't be. There's no structural damage apart from the little side on the side bit there, but we'll get into that um, in another video. But for now, let's crack on and let's see um, what this this needs, what we need to do to um, carry on. So, yeah, let's do this. So, yeah, guys, we're going to carry on with this today. Don't know about the windscreen yet today, but, you know, we'll see how we go. Um, <clears throat> we have got to come backwards a little bit with this car because um, I forgot, and I, I didn't realise until I saw me uh, someone message me about it, they said that you forgot to put the sensor through the dash, which is the AC con uh, a sensor, which is this one here. You can just see it there. So that's got to go through the dash, and I forgot all about that. So basically, we've got to get that done. I've got to drill um, a hole there um, and two little slots each side, and then it will fit in, and then it will connect up. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah. <clears throat> We've got to crack on with that, get that done. We've also got to get this wire done as well. I forgot all about that. Before we put the, the dash in, we should, have, we should have changed this over, which we didn't do. It's still the old one. You see, it's broke. <clears throat> so we need to do that, but we need to get this off probably out, well, not off, but out, out the way, just zip it off and, and sort of put it to one side so we can get feed it through and feed it underneath. So we've got to get that done as well. Um, so yeah, it feels like we're going backwards a little bit, but we need to go backwards to go forwards, if you know what I mean. Uh, we'll get this whipped over as well because, <clears throat> yeah, just because it's uh, bugging me. So we'll swap that over for the white one, and then we're going to continue um, with the dashboard, get all the bits and pieces on. Uh, the steering's done, because obviously I need to steer it in and, in and off the ramp and stuff, so that's that's okay. We've still got to do a seat belt that, that side as well, so we'll do that. Let's do all these little bits and pieces before we put the dash in, uh, before we put the windscreen in. Um, <clears throat> just so that I know that it's all wrapped up and it's all back together. Uh, what else we got to do? Oh, there's loads. I'm still not happy with sort of the, these wheels at the minute. I'm sort of thinking of just taking them off and um, <clears throat> rubbing them down and refurbing them as we normally do. They're not that bad, but I think it'll. I think it will definitely set the car set you know finish the car off if we can get these wheels refurbished so we'll probably be doing that at some point as well so yeah there's a lot going on on this car still obviously plus the bonnet bumper <clears throat> we've got to get the front end back on lights so yeah <sighs> i'm shattered but i've just yeah, it's just been non-stop for me to be honest with you i've been non-stop uh with this house move because i'm doing it myself as well I haven't, I'm not getting a removal company in. Um, I'm, I'm doing all the move, uh, doing the decorating the, the new house um, and just getting it how we want it, basically, before we actually move in, which is this week. The moving date is the end of this week. So I'm probably going to have Thursday, Friday off this week. Um, and after that, <clears throat> you know, ne next week, we should be bang on it, like sort of, you know, building momentum again. And getting these, uh, getting these uploads and videos out for you every day, guys. Hopefully, uh, we've also got uh, the uh, we've got a um, work experience. Uh, Tom is coming with, with us into the workshop next next week. Going to show him bits and pieces. Just show him sort of um, you know the, the the smaller parts. You know the, the 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 little bits and pieces that you know you can start with and gradually sort of teach him the ropes uh basically and he can come out to me if we, if we can win any cars he can come out, out to me and come with me uh, in the truck we can go and pick up a car come back i'll show him that part of it as well so it's all experience um and it's all part of his work experience so yeah that's um <clears throat> that'll be next week but for now 
let's crack on with this one. Um, like I said, let's get the dash sorted out first, get that AC sensor uh, connected in properly, then get the rest of the dash in place, screwed up. Um, then we'll get the cable done, then get the head. So we're just bits and pieces, guys. We're just going to crack on um, and then just see how far we get today. So, yeah, another busy week at Resurrect HQ. Um, we've also got another job coming in. Um, someone messaged me and said their daughter has been involved in a, not an accident, well, as such, but because she's, like, um, she's got a Fiat 500 and she's um, caved in the actual wing, damaged the bonnet, damaged the bumper. Um, <clears throat> so he said, like, can you uh, take it on, change it over, you know, repair the best you can on the wing and the bumper um, and give it a full service while you're doing it. So that's coming in. Um, I don't know if it's going to come in this week. It might be next week now when Tom comes in. Uh, we might sort of just crack on that straight away on Monday's video. I'm not sure, but I'll definitely, um, yeah, you'll, you'll see the videos and keep, keep you updated, guys. Anyway, that's enough waffle. Let's set you up on the tripod. Let's crack on and let's get this um, moving forward. So let's do this, guys. Right, guys, yeah, so, as you just saw there, managed to get the sensor back in place. I actually used this step drill, um, and it slowly sort of just sort of worked the hole down until you get the correct size, and then it just slots in. You can see that there's, there's different sizes there, and as it goes up, it changes the size. So, yeah, that's exactly what I used to do um, that AC sensor there at the front. So that's done. Um, then I moved on to the inside and I was just sort of putting things back together. You can see that obviously I've took, put the power on for the minute um, because I wanted to show you what I was doing here. Um, put the covers on for the aircon. So that's done, sorry. I thought someone was coming to the door, they're not. Um, done the, not the, uh, <laughs> the ABS, um, the airbag module. That's 
covered up now, so that's all done in, and done up in place. And then I'm working on the inside, just putting all bits and pieces back together. And I realised that underneath this dash, there should be um, like a ambient lighting um, system. You can see the red one here. That goes uh, in, in part of the dash as well, which is okay. I think that just slots in place. But the one that goes here, I should have put in place before I put the dash in. And I didn't do that. And it was really fiddly. You see me sort of just trying to fight it there. Managed to get it in place and managed to do it. And I'll just show you it here, look. So it's just a, it's just a small ambient um, lighting. Nothing too major. But because of... Uh, it was it was in the old one it should definitely go back into the um into the new one put the light the bulb back in place so that's done uh so this area is kind of getting there really um uh, i've done the oh the let me show you the so the airbag has got a bracket you can see the bracket there so it's all been connected um and all been securely fastened the, the bracket holds the airbag to the actual frame behind the dash so yeah it's definitely moving along. We're definitely getting there. It's definitely hot today, so I'm going to be sweating in here today in this tin roof lock-up. But, um, yeah, just got to keep going, keep moving forward, um, and keep um, keep putting this back together. Like I said to you before, I've still got to do this seat belt, so we'll do that as well, just a case of doing, undoing a few bolts, taking these panelling off, uh, and then swap it over, and that shouldn't be that bad. So yeah, you can see obviously that I'm starting to check things, just make sure I'm getting power to everything, and making sure uh, everything's all good. Um, so yeah, let me um, disconnect the battery. We'll continue putting this all back together. I've got to do the other side. The airbag's got to be connected. The knee airbag's got to be connected as well. And the underneath bracket, that's got to be fixed up. So we've got to do that. So yeah, a few bits and pieces. But it's difficult to set you up and show you when it comes to the... the Sorry, guys. I had to stop there because someone did come to the door um, asking to borrow a drill. Anyway, like I was saying, it's difficult to set you up and put you in a place to so you can see the dash and, and all the bits and pieces to be, um, you know, put back together. But I'll, I'll set it up the best I can. So let's crack on um, and let's, um, let's just see how far we get today. So let's keep going. Let's do this.
So, guys, as you can see, as you saw, I've been working away. It is absolutely squelching now. It's like one o'clock in the afternoon and it is hot. So, yeah, probably going to slow me down a little bit because of the heat, but <laughs> got to keep going. <clears throat> Took the wheels off, all four of them. Those back ones were an absolute pain to get off. They were the, probably the hardest wheels of alloys I've tried to take off. <laughs> Incredible. So they was proper seized. You can see how, um, how worn they are around. So they're going to need... They're, they're going to need... A, I might just take these off and check these, you know, as well. Give them a service. Brake break discs. The drums. <sighs> Sorry. I'm just so hot and tired. <laughs> that, um... <clears throat> struggling to talk. But, um... Yeah, banging him off took some time, but it's definitely, um, definitely worth it. We've still got to work. We've got, we've got to mess around with this, haven't we? We should be fine. I don't. I can't really see it being a massive issue. That. Um, what else? Right. So, yeah, we've done the um, the release cable for the bonnet. That's now been put. Um, in the correct position again that was a bit of a pain <sighs> trying to fiddle that through but managed to get it done in the end put the light back in place put the washer bottle back in place as well check to make sure you know all the lights work bulbs and stuff like that but we're nowhere near the MOT check on the car but as I'm doing it I um, <clears throat> like to check them we've got a <laughs> these discs and pads are literally like hardly any lip on that but you can see they're all rusty so they do need some sort of you know servicing the the pads themselves i can't really see the pads actually there's my torch two seconds guys i've got to check these pads oh yeah loads of meat loads of wear on that so the pads are all right as well just checking but they do need a good clean and a good service and a good sort out. So we will be doing that at some point. Um, yeah, obviously plus refurbing the wheels as well because like, a few of them are a bit scuffy and a bit scratched. So I really want to give these a good going over. Take them right back. Need a bit of filler here, which I've got. Um, yeah, and just, just make them... Look really nice and presentable. Spend a bit of time on them. <clears throat> and we'll just do... We've done it before, and we'll do it again. I will probably take the tyres down this time. Um, deflate them. So that pulls it away from the lip edge itself. Just so we can get a good, we can get a good coat around that. Um, I have taken the tyres off before, haven't I? Off of wheels when I've refurbed them. But I think this time, I'll just put them down. Um... And then that way it'll give us a little bit more space to get around the rim on those wheels. What else has been going on? So most of the inside, as you can see, is all back together. Um, the other thing I was going to show you was the um, cabin filter. I thought, I've done the rest of the service. It just makes no sense to, to not change that cabin filter um, whilst we're doing all this work and getting, you know, done the rest of the service, we can um, change it over, which I've done. I pulled it out. This is the old one. And you can see, look at all the crap that comes with it. Like, incredible. Like, just in there, there's probably loads of stuff. So I'm going to have to get Hoover and that in there to Hoover it all out. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, it's this side. This side, it's all, it's, uh, all gummed up. So it's definitely due a change. Um, <clears throat> so I've got one to change over. It's exactly the same sort of, um, not the same make, I don't think, but it's the same sort of design. Like it's, the, I can't really call it now, but it's not like a paper. Um, I, can't remember, I can't remember what they call it, but it's the same sort of material as, the, as that one there. So yeah, I'll put that in, swap that over. Put a nice new one in place. Um, <clears throat> and then I can put the cover back on over here underneath there. Uh, all this has been done up uh, tight now. The airbag is going to be up underneath the brackets and that's been tightened up. So this side's really coming along now. I've got to put this back on with my OBD connector there. It goes in the back of that. 
so that can go on and screwed up. A uh, little cover can go on there, so that's side done. Actually, the, <coughs> this this it, this corner can go on, and this this piece here can go on as well, but not the rubber because I want to put the yeah I might have to leave the rubber because <coughs> until the windscreen's done. But we can start put. I could put the rest of the trims on for definite. Yeah. So we're moving. We're moving on. We're moving on. Oh, I've done the wind the wind mirror as well. So, yep, the original one is back on in colour. So that's good. Um, we've got a scuff here that's got to come off. No dents, just scuffs. Or well, it's just, uh, I don't know, one or two, but I've got to sort that out as well. But it's coming along nicely, guys. We are definitely moving along with this one. Um, definitely not going to get to the windscreen today. Uh, but I will definitely be doing it tomorrow. So tomorrow's video, um, you'll be seeing me fit this windscreen. Because everything else would be done, to be honest with you. Did I show you the windscreen? I don't think I did, did I? So I had to go out and um, and buy this one. <clears throat> uh, this was on Friday. Um, I had to drive, drive about an hour <clears throat> to pick up this one um, from a like it's brand new um, and it's um, from a supplier, glass supplier. Um, I just didn't want to go down. Sometimes I, you know, fit second hand ones, but you just never know with them. So I thought, I think this one was uh, 150 quid. And um, it's um, heated, as you can see. And it's got the sensor, uh, the square one. It's got a sensor on it as well. So, yeah, I think 150 ain't a bad price, really, for a brand new windscreen. So there we go. That's that. <clears throat> Yeah, so we'll move on now. Um, we've got to do the seatbelt <clears throat> on that passenger side. So I'll sit you up over here. Let's do that. Swap that over. So that's all done and finished. Um, and then I'll move on to this, get this one done, get all the trims back in place, and we'll just sort of push it along a little bit, guys. And then um, crack on to see how far we get today. But uh, so far, so good. It's going all right. Let's do this.
Right, guys, we are definitely, definitely getting here now. So, as you can see, all the trims and everything else has been put back uh, where it should be. Seat belts are done, both sides. We've got a couple of trims left, which is for the windscreen. Uh, this is obviously for the um, new windscreen going in, so I've got to sort that out. Everything else has been put back in place where it should be put back in place, basically. No screws missing, which is always a good sign. Um, so, yeah, definitely, definitely moving along. I think what I want to do now is I want to concentrate doing the interior still. So we clear it all out, hoover it all up. Um, then I want to clean the seats, clean the back. Because um, then that way it gives it time to dry the actual seats. You know, they can they can sit for a couple of days and they can dry. Um, probably just put them in the sun, to be honest with you. They'll dry pretty quick, especially today. But, um, yeah, I just think if I do the, do the seats, dry them off, get them done, do the interior, I've got to do the plastic, I've still got to get, get this this dash got to be cleaned up a little bit as well. All the trims have got to be cleaned up. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, all this, look, this is filth, absolute filth. I should have cleaned it as I went, but I thought, you know what, I'll do it all in one go uh, at the end. But, um, yeah, we can get some seats in then, can't we? <laughs> and actually move the car about in a minute i can't even move it about i've been i've been pushing it about um so that's what the next step, step is guys let's get this hoovered out cleaned up um and start getting these plastics and that cleaned up really well door shuts clean them all up just yeah just have a good clean up really and then tomorrow we're probably going to go for the windscreen um get that in place and get that stuck on then we can start putting the trims back in the scuttle panel uh, and all the trims and that can go back in, back in place. Uh, and then we can get the wheels done, uh, bonnet on, bumper back in place. Do you know what I mean? Just try and just carry on, really. We should, I should have a really good crack at this over the next couple of days. Um, I am looking at some more cars tomorrow. One interesting car that's going through tomorrow, which is uh, a Volkswagen Golf. And it's got a gearbox issue. It is a seven-speed um, automatic uh, DSG gearbox. Um, and the only problem with this car is the gearbox. So I'm going to be looking to see if I can win that tomorrow. Um, if, I, if it goes up, I think it's going to go up too much because it's a Volkswagen Golf, for starters. And it's an automatic. Um, it's not a fast car to be honest if it's a 1.6 diesel tdi so it's not a particularly fast car but it's the dsg gearbox which is the um yeah which is the most expensive part of it really i think i've looked on ebay i think they're like 1300 pound for a gearbox um which is crazy and that's second hand that's not even new it's crazy money um but they're supposed to be really good i've never done um, one of these cars before with a DSG gearbox, but we will get into it if I win it. Um, and that's a big if, because prices are still still a little bit higher, second-hand prices for cars at the minute, um, but you never know, you never know. I've got other little cars that I'm watching as well, just little, little tiny projects, little just little run-arounds, really. That's what people are looking for. People are looking for the, the 1 litres, the 1.1s, the you know, 1.2s, just real cheap run-arounds. That's what people are looking for. So you have to continue, um, you know, going with the flow of the market and what people are, are looking at. You, you, can't, you can't go out and buy a BMW X5 anymore, uh, fix it up, and expect it to go and sell fast and quick because it just won't. No one wants the big gas guzzlers, the big liter, the two point fives, the three liters, the four liters. No one wants them cars anymore. At the minute, it's just that that just that's just where we are in the world, in this definitely in this country. But it's uh, yeah, you have to sort of yeah, you, you can buy you can buy them really really cheap. But you have to I always have to think about not only have I got to buy it cheap, I've got to sell it. So it's no point me buying something and holding on to it for months and months and months. It just does not 
physically work as a business. You can't do that. So, yeah, that's what I'll be looking at tomorrow. But for now, let's just crack on. Let's just get these plastics and that cleaned up and this interior done. Seats back in, hopefully, today. But we'll see. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's crack on. Let's do this. So guys, there we go. Nice, clean seats. Yeah. Um, I think, I don't know what I'll do with it if I didn't have this, this drill on a brush and this uh, uh, industrial commercial carpet. It's a, it's, it is a carpet cleaner, to be honest with you, but you've got an attachment for um, doing upholstery. Which is this is the one I use to do me uh, to do my seats, and he just yeah, it's it's so good, and it just brings them up so well. Like look at the inside as well. Done all the carpets, done the bench seat at the back. And it just sparkles like it just smells so good. I'm like getting all rid of all that crap and all that food and all that all that rubbish underneath the seats, both sides. Just yeah, just smells so much better when you do it. That's why I like doing it because it just, yeah, it just, you know, just gives it that little little bit of a little little edge against um, leaving the leaving the seats in. I'd I'd rather do this uh, than leave them in. Um, sorry, I'm really tired. I'm knackered. <laughs> I'm not speaking properly. Um, it's really hot as well, so it's <laughs> it's a long day. It does take it out of you. Like if you if you know if you do this kind of thing, um, if you do this kind of thing, you know exactly um, you know what I put into it and what I can get done. This is I record on a daily basis, so what you just see today is what I started to do um, during the course of the whole day. And we have done those bits and pieces. Uh, that's the, all the inside done now. All we've got to do is wait for the seats to dry, um, put them back in, put the bolts back in place, do them up tight, and then do the plastics. I still haven't done the plastic. Actually, I'll do the plastics before I put the seats in, but that'll be tomorrow's video. Uh, we'll do the obviously do the windscreen as well tomorrow, uh, but I think we'll do the plastics first. I've run out of time today, guys. I haven't got time to do it. Otherwise, I would have loved to have do, done it, carried on, um, and, and put the seats back in place so they're done, but just... Yeah, just it's just time and now in a minute. So, but it's getting there. This car is definitely, definitely getting there now. Um, and obviously, we've got to do the alloys as well. There's still loads to do. There is still loads of bits and pieces, but I'll get through it, as you know I will. Um, and yeah, we'll check all the brakes. We'll clean them, clean up all the front brakes, all the back drums. We'll get them all off, clean them all up. You know, do what we've got to do to them. Um, and then get it ready for the MOT as well and get the front end on. Front end ain't going to take much, to be honest with you, us, but it's just I want to get all these bits and pieces done before I put that front end uh, back on, especially the windscreen and the scuttle panel and those kind of bits. But, yeah, seats are looking good. Just got to wait for them to dry up. So there we go. That is going to be the end of today's video, guys. 
I hope you like um, what I'm doing in a minute with this car and stuff like that, bits and pieces. Don't forget, if you haven't already, guys, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, and you'll be notified whenever I upload a video, uh, which is a little bit random at the minute, but hopefully next week we'll, it'll start becoming more, um, yeah, more daily next week. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Once, we've, once I've moved um, and things will start slowly getting back together, um, hopefully. But for now, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.